Well, folks, here's an unexpected, unplanned third part to this epic viewer gift unboxing. I hope you're ready to look at a ton of G.I. Joe figures. So, stick around. and dorkettes and welcome to it came from my side of the laundry room my name is rob and like i said this is an unplanned unexpected third part to this just monumentally mega epic generous viewer gift unboxing i mean wow there is a whole boatload of joe figures at the bottom of this one box and of course the spin cycle kicks on right now the washing machine is as excited as I am Whew. if you caught the other two parts my heart has grown 30 times its size exploded regrew exploded regrew many times over I'm like the Grinch, except I'm not very Grinchy, but yeah, you know what I mean. The analogy might be lost, but yeah, my heart grew a hundred times its size of that day. Anyway, at the bottom of these boxes, I mean, he told me in the text messages that it was going to be all vehicles. So I braced myself for that, like you need bracing for that. Little did I know there was going to be a whole basket of Joe figures at the bottom of the box. And all those file cards. Anyway, I'm talking nonsense at this point because it's like a hundred Christmas mornings all wrapped up into one. All the Christmas mornings that I wished I had when I was a kid. And a lot of those episodes of toys I wish I had when I was a kid quest completed we'll have to go over which vehicles were on those lists and check them off now we're going to take a look at figures and just glancing at it there are a lot of figures that either i used to have and don't anymore or ones i wish i had and that's just been the theme of this whole unboxing it's michael Again, let me do the Michael J. Miller, a friend that I have had online for many years, was one of my very first supporters of My Side of the Laundry Room when it was a written blog, and has been just a great friend ever since then, till now, and he has generously donated his and his brother's G.I. Joe collections from when they were kids, and yeah check out his blog my comic relief here's all the deets there's some more details in the description so check it out he talks about comics talks about tv shows movies doctor who what have you so check it out you will find something that you love because his unique voice is just just awesome so awesome in fact that he got a book deal out of it and I'm super proud of him for that and it should be coming out very shortly anyway let's hop over to the other camera at the table and take a look at these figures I'm so excited Okay, folks, I forgot to show you in the little intro just the sheer amount of figures that are in this tray, this basket, if you will. I am just going to start pulling them and 
Yeah, if, if you saw the second unboxing video, you saw it. So let's kick things off with, ooh, let me get a better angle here on the camera. Deep Six. Now he goes with the shark vehicle that we unboxed. And just, you know what? He's not the most posable. He's not, you know, the whatever, but definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I had the shark as a kid and just really liked Deep Six. And this was one that you could play with in the tub without rusting up. So you always will get props for that. Wow, where am I going to put them once I... <laughs> I'm going to have to get another bin for my figures that you see in Fistful of Joes. Okay, our next figure is Rock and Roll. Now this is a swivel armed version. Seems in great shape. I mean, some wear on the bullets, no biggie. But O-ring seems nice. The joints of his arms seem really good. Had him as a kid, haven't had him since. I'm sure I played with him a little too rough. So, welcome back to the gang, rock and roll. Next is one of my favorites of all time, Firefly. <clears throat> I'm sorry if it seems like super bright, like lens flare. Let's see if I can fix that here with this ring light that I have. Ooh, looks like he's going tanning. Here, we'll just go with this soft yellow light here, opposed to the white light. Great condition. Again, one of my favorites. Always wanted them as a kid. So glad to finally have them. Ah. Again, one of my favorites as a kid, barbecue. A little loose here. We might have to replace the O-ring. <clears throat> I'll put them in separate piles of ones I'll need to fix eventually. And ones that are tip top. But, I mean, so far, I'm so beside myself. They have their thumbs, they have their crotches. I mean, what more can you ask for? It sounds just like life itself. Okay, and mind you, I'm just grabbing them. Here's Major Blood. He's got an O-ring problem. But look at that. Great shape. This is a lot better shape than the one I have. The one I have is his robotic arm or whatever his armored arm is a little bit beat up this is in great shape Michael man you took great care of your figures oh another one that I had as a kid Scarlet look at that again Beautiful shape. Looks great. Always love the shirk in here. And the sidearm here. This is where I would pretend like she would pull it off there. And psh, 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 or pull her shirk in. Psh, psh, psh. Little loosey goosey in the O ring department. We'll put her over in the possibility to be fixed pile. Wow. An OG hooded Cobra Commander. Definite O-ring problem I'll need to fix. And mind you, all these figures will be folded in to my 
Fistful of Joe's episodes when I get back to them. Sorry, I had to take a little break from them just because I had to cut some corners here and there to uh, do some other things with my free time, so I apologize for that. Wow. Great condition again. Man, Crimson Guard. Yeah, I'm going to have to order some more O-rings. I don't think I have enough at this point. Great condition. Emblem looks good. Man, all the silver paint looks good. Always wanted one. Never had one. Got some of the later releases. But to get an original... Wow. Gung Ho. I was gifted a Gung Ho a little bit ago. Ooh, broken crotch. But to have another one in the ranks is just awesome. Again, a character I wanted as a kid that I never got. I have to put some sculpty on that. Fix you up. I mean, he's on shore leave. He's going to have some problems with his crotch afterwards. Here we got Footloose. Man, got his helmet. Man, great condition. Again, I was gifted him from a viewer. Rob C., few years ago but to have another I mean wow always wanted them as a kid and now I got two that's I never imagined here we have torch you can see the deterioration of the o-ring good shape again always wanted them as a kid Got one of the, I think the only one I have is the 25th anniversary version. So, wow, to get the original is, wow, breathtaking. Here we have one of our first casualties. So we'll have to put him to the side to see if we can find his legs. A little discoloration, not the end of the world. I mean, it's original. I, I don't hate on that. So, there'll be another body pile over here. Whoa, sorry. Bumped the camera. Oh my god, Toll Booth. He can go with the new bridge layer that we just got. <laughs> oh man. Now, I have a list of figures I've been searching for, and I don't think I've touched the list in probably over 13 years. It'll be really cool to go look at that list and check some of them off. He was definitely on that list because I just love this character. I mean, he is like one of the first to break away from the original Joe formula. You know, we got the hard hat, got the shirt unbuttoned, different colors. I mean, what, 1984? We're talking, what, 39 years ago? Wow. Oh, here we go. You can go along with the water moccasin. Good shape. Crotch, thumbs, paint looks great. By the way, one of my favorite paint job colors. I don't know what it is. I mean, this green is definitely one of my favorites. You can tell I use a green very similar for the uh, logo of my side of the laundry room 
And this is probably where that love affair began with this character. Always wanted him, always wanted the vehicle. Wow, here we go, Snake Eyes version three. Good shape. Great shape, honestly. There's like a weird halo effect going on with this, so I apologize. It's probably just the lighting and the camera and just one of those perfect storms. So I apologize for that. Here is Torpedo with his backpack. And I have to admit, my Torpedo, when I was a kid, was probably in worse shape than this with rust on the screws and stuff. I mean, he has some discoloration from age, but I mean, that's just OG. I love it. Wow. Here we have Blowtorch. See, this is going to be a very long episode. I apologize, but the heck, we're looking at Joe figures. Here's Buzzer. Great condition. A uh, little O-ring problems there. But tattoos in great shape. Paint applications look good. Glasses look great. Ponytail intact. By the way, love his belt buckle. Here we have Ripcord. Definitely one of my favorites. Always wanted him as a kid. I was gifted one by Rob C. a couple years ago. But he was a standout to me as a kid because of what happened to him in the comics where him and Zartan kind of switched places. It was riveting when I was a kid. Probably still riveting today. Should reread the Joe comics. I have a few holes in my collection. I would love to fill one day. Here's Spirit's crotch and legs, so over to the body farm. Ah, uh, Snow Job. Again, one of my favorites meant so much to me because my grandmother got him for me with the Polar Battle Bear and Doc. And recently, Chris A. sent me one of his versions uh, in the ferret unboxing so it's cool to get another version of them got some o-ring damage we'll put him on the pile too now the OG Cobra Troop Trooper never had a single one growing up wow I don't know what it is. There's just something so iconic about these first wave of Cobra figures. I wanted them so badly. Man. Wow, to finally have one. Jeez. Now, I'm going to get his name probably wrong, so I won't even attempt it. It's not Grunt, is it? I don't think so. Maybe. A lot of the characters looked the same back then. 
has the Hasbro house on the belt buckle. A little bit of o-ring issue. We'll put him in that pile. Oh man. Another broken crotch. We can fix it. O-ring. Oh, what was his name? Drawing a blank. Went with my favorite tank I had as a kid. I'd say Thunder, but I don't think that's right. Is the tank name Thunder? Anyway, yeah. I'm still in like shock, so I'm not even thinking straight. But crotch and o ring. Maybe we'll do a crotch pile as well. Here we have, and excuse me, either Tomax or Zamot. I can never tell which figure was which. Because, I mean, you just keep them as a group. Great condition. A little loosey-goosey in the O-ring, so we'll put them over in that pile. My man! Alpine! seems to be in great shape. Legs are a little wonky, probably o-ring issues. Great shape. Great figure. One of my favorites as a kid. He came with such great gear. He was awesome in the cartoon. Wow. Happy to have him back on the team. Oh my god. We have an OG Storm Shadow, definite O-ring issues. Has that discoloration. <clears throat> now I know people do things with like hydrogen peroxide and stuff to brighten them up. Maybe I will try it with my other one, which is more beat up than this one. This one's in good shape, other than the O-ring and some discoloration. Wow. We have Rock and Roll version 2. Had him as a kid. I still have his guns, so that'll be cool to reunite them with him. His big Gatling guns. I don't think I have the rifle anymore. But I definitely have the Gatling guns. O-ring issue. And I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. I'm just taking mental notes of it and organizing them. Got some shipwreck action. Needs a new O-ring. Little scuff there on the glove, not a biggie. Tattoo looks good. Emblem on the shirt looks good. Had him as a kid, don't have him anymore, so very happy to have him back on the team. Here's a surprise, we have Hannibal from the A-Team. These were the Galoob figures. Wow. That's awesome. What a great surprise. And he's not in bad shape. Paint looks great. Face looks, I mean, a little eyebrow issue there, but wow. Uh-oh, we have some legs. Hmm, piece of the rubber. We have legs and a crotch. Put them in the body pile. It is an OG Joe. Little rust there, that's cool. Reminds me of my figures. Put these over in the body farm. Look at that dried o-ring there around the hook. 
Sorry for the blurriness. Black pants. These could be snake eyes, maybe? We will see in a second as we dig deeper into the box, but for now, into the body farm. Televiper. Good shape. Now, I don't use, like, official O-rings. I go to the hardware store and buy just, like, gaskets that work perfectly. Right size, right dimensions, right tightness, and a lot cheaper. So I'll head to check Walmart tomorrow, and if they don't have any, head to Lowe's. Great condition. Here we have the Hiss driver. Man, look at that. Emblem looks great. Silver paint looks good. Just a wonky waist. Man, he is in mint condition. Wow. Again, I apologize for the... Look here, Steeler. Put him in the Mobat that I got. Let me take a break again to say thank you so much, Michael. Wow. Oh, my man. To go along with the Alpine, we got Bazooka. Never had them as a kid. Always wanted them. Have the classified pre-ordered. Wow. I don't think that's his helmet, though. So, I can go to someone else. Here's Duke. Good shape. Oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> Version 2 Snake Eyes. I remember dragging my father to the Kmart when they had their grand opening in our town. I mean, they had spotlights shining up into the heavens, letting everyone know that they came to town. I had a friend that went earlier that day and got him. It was the first time either of us had ever seen the version 2 Snake Eyes. Of course, we get there. They were sold out. Because you know everyone and their brother was getting him. Because he's the perfect Snake Eyes figure. Now, I was gifted one by Rob C. But he had some broken thumb issues, so... Man, this one's cherry once I get them back together. Into the body farm. Here we have the stinger driver. Go along with the stinger that we got. Great condition. Here we have the Murdoch that I pulled out earlier in the second episode. Man, these Galoob really hold up. The O-rings are far superior, it seems like. Helen, Mad Murdoch. Ooh. Was this whose legs we found? Let's put them in the body farm. Oh, man. Again, another one of my favorites as a kid, Airborne. I remember my grandmother just gave me some money for a birthday. And we went to Kitty City, and I got him. What I really wanted was the Robotech Cyclone. I didn't have enough money, and my parents weren't going to float me alone. But what a great second choice. 
Ooh, here's spirits. A little tabard. Here is Wild Bill. Looks like tripwires, backpack almost. Am I wrong? No, I'm wrong there. Again, another one of my favorites. Dragonfly. Probably top three favorite G.I. Joe vehicles of all time. Because that was a wonderful Christmas present from Santa. And an awesome character. Here we have Airtight. Doesn't look to be in bad shape other than O ring. So into the body farm with him. Speak the devil. Here's Tripwire. Wow. Loved him as a kid just because he came with such cool accessories. I didn't have him as a kid. I bought him recently, complete. Not recently, probably 15 years ago. 20 years ago now, who knows? Time just, just has a weird, has a weirdness when you get old. Here we have Wild Weasel to go with our Rattler. Looks good, I mean, his map and flight log thing looks good. Emblem looks good. You know what, I'm gonna put him in the good pile. Waste and fill it. Oh man. Here we have Ripper. Good shape. O rings holding out a lot better than his uh, teammates. Here we have a pair of legs. I think these might be cutters from the killer whale which we also got in, you can check that out in the second installment. Sorry, I'm bumping stuff. Here we have scrap iron. Another one I pre-ordered from the classified line. Needs an O-ring. Looks great though. Oh, here's the top of cutter. Yeah, this episode is running really long and I apologize. Snow Serpent. Lucky enough to pre-order that because that went crazy fast. Most of the troop building Cobra characters do go quick. Great shape. Great shape. Man, Michael, you and your brother really took care of your figures. Here we have Zartan. Wow. This thing is thigh pieces, but great shape. Does he? Looks like he may have the sticker under there. That's rad. O-ring feels good. Here we have Destro's legs. Put them on the body farm pile. An eel. Oh, I've never had one. Ever. Always wanted one. I mean, I can say that for any Joe figure. I wanted them all. Wow. Pre-ordered the classified version of him. Was lucky enough to grab one. Here is some armored Cobra Commander pieces. Hopefully we find his crotch. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. No, that's probably annoying. Here we have Freedom. 
to go with our spirit. Put him over here. Here we have the top half of Lady J. Here we have Mutt. Awesome. Good shape. Even has his helmet. Look at this little bonus. Got an Ewok cow. Hat. Whatever you want to call it. Don't know which one, but that's awesome. Put that over here. There are some bags of gear in here as well. Wow. Here is Roadblock. You know what? I want to put him on the good pile. Now, is this Mercer? The second version of Mercer? I'll have to look into that. This one's not ringing any bells. But for some reason, the hair reminds me of Mercer. So we'll see if I'm correct or not. He's in pretty good shape. He goes into the good pile. Here we have more pieces of Lady J with some dry rotted rubber. Here we have a piece of Cobra Commander. Oh my God, my man. Rakondo. Always wanted him as a kid. Oh my god. Wow. Now, Michael, I know you inherited this from your cousin, but your cousin's got exquisite taste in figures. Here we have an OG Chrome Dome. Cobra Commander, not Mickey Mouse, <laughs> I was checking, loose waist, a horse, but good shape, here we have another Cobra Trooper, it's interesting how the colors age on these, it's still awesome and it kind of fits i mean it's like a uniformed different shade of blue he's in good shape he'll go in the good pile now he has a silver emblem it probably means something but i can't recall at the moment okay here we have are you kidding me Here we have Quick Kick, but he's got Storm Shatter's gear and Snake Eyes' sword. Oh my god. And a machete from... Oh, it looks familiar. I just can't place it. This is... Wow. Awesome. Awesome, great character, but the gear, oh my God. Here we have, what is this, Flasher, or Flash, or Zap, I can't, I'm horrible. I'm horrible with the original ones. Top half is Destro. The chrome looks great. A little bit of wear on his medallion there. Oh no, no, sorry for the blurriness. Wow. Engine compartment for the Battle Bear. Awesome. Here we have some gear. And wow. I can see some really, really good ones here. And the Gatling guns. It looks like I'm going to have 
double trouble with them. Here we have a bag of pieces. It looks like we have Frostbite. Is that his name? That short fuse or hawk. Flint. Cover girl. Oh my gosh. This is this the grunt vamp driver? Whoa. Another bag of gear? Are you kidding me? Shipwrecks down there. More gear. And possibly some pieces to some of the accessories. Here we have Baroness's top half. We have a green shirt crotch. Here's either Tomax or Zamot, whichever one has the scar. We have an eel fin. Another bag of gear. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm like shaking. And. To end it all off, we have a crotch. Maybe Baroness. Maybe Destro. Other eel fin. And a helmet. Not jumping out at me at whose helmet, though. Almost looks like Hawks, but I don't think it is. Hawks is brown. Maybe it's that guy I think is uh, Mercer. Hmm, we'll have to see. But that is it for all the figures. Now, there's another box of accessories and... Oh my, I just opened it up. <laughs> And we have Baroness's legs. Wow. Are you kidding me? Something else I always wanted as a kid and had in an episode. The snake armor. If this is in here, I have a feeling the rest of it's in here as well. And I'm not going to dive into this because this is running really late. It's almost 40 minutes. But here's the rest of that, that uh, windsurfing thing. I'm going to have to see what else goes with that. Oh my goodness. I... Hmm. <sighs> Anyway, back to me to wrap this up, and I'm sorry I've kept you so long. Okay, folks, back to me. Like I said, this is like a hundred Christmases wrapped up in one. And these figures, so many of them I wanted when I was a kid. So many of them I had as a kid and just thoughtlessly discarded them or my parents did. I can't handle this, folks. This is amazing. Again, I am sorry this episode ran so long, but hopefully you'll want to tune in just with a title like, you know, Mega G.I. Joe Figure Collection. Something like that. 
hopefully, I hope you all tune in because I want you all to share in my enjoyment, share in my surprises, and share in thanking Michael for so much generosity. And again, check out his blog, My Comic Relief. I had plans of possibly going to bed after this, but now I'm going to be spending the rest of the night going through these accessories and bagging up these figures so they're all together. And, <laughs> yeah, that they're all back together with their families. They're, into, they're now in my family. And, again, thank you, Michael, so much. Thank you. You have no idea just the feeling of reconnecting with childhood. It is... Whew, I can't put it in the words. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, I'm sorry for how long the episode is. But... How often... How often does this happen? So sit back, watch it, enjoy. If you've gotten this far, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, like I said. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the other episodes that YouTube is recommending or the uh, two other unboxing videos, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you, Michael, for your generosity. Everybody, keep being rad and stay dorky.